Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehra Bagga and today I'll be taking you through one of the interesting games that I played a few days back. Now I was playing as white here. I played the London system setup, starting off with d4. Open responds with d6 and I went with the bishop to g5, the Trompowski attack here. Uh, I preferred playing the London, but I'm feeling this is better. Bishop over to g5, that, that makes some redundant moves from the opponent as well, which helps me open up the position later on. Here my opponent plays bishop or f5. I went with pawn to e3, knight to g6, uh, f6 by opponent. I play c3 and open connects both the knights by knight b to d7. Here I played bishop over to d3. Opponent just blocks it by playing the knight over to e4 uh, there. And then I went with bishop backwards on h4, anticipating a move like h6 by the opponent and trying to maintain that pin. Now here I can take on the knight and just win a piece, but I think, yes, I did. That's what I did. I took on the knight, opponent had to take back. Now again, if opponent takes back with the knight, he loses the bishop straight away. So opponent took with the pawn there and I went with pawn to f3, which weakens up my opponent's position already. Now, before we proceed with this further, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. And after now pawn to f3, opponent had to just defend the situation. So he thought of getting the queen over to e7. I take on the knight, opponent takes back with the bishop, uh, we trade. And now uh, a white is already ahead in the game. All that because of a bad opening from the, the dark side. So black pieces didn't develop properly and I could uh, compensate on that and I could get some real advantage in the beginning itself. So now try to exchange queens. Always a good idea when you are ahead in the game. Why not exchange and make sure that there's no comeback chance for your opponent to come back, uh, back into the game. Now if queen goes anywhere uh, apart from taking on the queen, I will be just uh, taking on uh, the pawn behind. So open rather played uh, d5 here. Now, of course, I can trade. That's what I do. Uh, opponent takes back. And now knight comes on to d2, attacking the center pawn straight away, which is unguarded. Open plays f5. I just castle on the queen side. Open also castles. Uh, and now knight comes over to e2. Finally, my other knight also gets developed. Uh, then opponent plays g6, just solidifying this pawn structure. It's a nice pawn structure, but then opponent is pieced down. And I went with a knight to f4 straight away. Opponent tries to attack the knight. I'm okay exchanging stuff as well. So g3 by me, just trying to consolidate my knight's position there. Open plays h6, maybe preparing to move g5 next. I played h4 myself so that he cannot play the move that he anticipated to play. Now king to b8, a random move there by the opponent, a waiting move. I'm attacking the bishop next by going knight over to d4, uh, onto c4, hitting the bishop on d6. Bishop goes back and then I, then I just acquire an e5 square with the knight hitting a pawn and that would be a fork as well. So uh, here my opponent tries to attack the knight, misses the fork. I uh, went on and took on the rook. Opponent takes back and another pawn was hanging. Why didn't I take the pawn? Okay, yeah, I, I was thinking that if I take and opponent gets the rook behind, uh, then I ha if, I, if I have to move the uh, knight from here, then it can be problematic because then opponent is given a chance to come into my situation and then weaken up my e3 pawn as well. So I miss the fact that I can play h5 as well to uh, enforce him so that it, it doesn't happen at all. So instead in the game, I went with rook there and then opponent also plays. And then I just, uh, as soon as opponent plays rook onto g7, that leads to another fork with the knight. And then bishop was hanging. And then it's, I just took on pawn and then making sure that opponent doesn't get a chance to come into my uh, position there. A rook onto g5 and here my opponent resigns. It was move 30. And that's how quickly you can win games in chess if you're playing a good opening and your opponent is not careful. So be careful in your openings uh, because that is the time when if you just go wrong uh, by a move as well, there are high chances that it can end up very fast. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. 
keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow again thank you so much for your time take care bye bye